This day is about innovation, but I have to say that I don't think that innovation is the target. I don't think that innovation is a goal. I think innovation is the way you achieve your goal. Everybody is innovative by its nature. It's not, it's not the point. Let's be honest. Canada is a fantastic place to live. It's one of the most gorgeous places on earth. You have a great wealth of nature resources. I mean, it's nearly empty. You have no enemies. <laughs> Life is great. So what's the problem? You must have a problem in order to wake up in the morning and say, like the Israelis, I just don't have any other choice. I have to be innovative because this is survivability. Otherwise, I won't make it. When you're in a situation of survival, there are two things that you have to do and that are acceptable to you. The first one, you are willing to take risks. You are willing to take risks because the other option is worse. And the second one is that you cannot accept no. You don't take a no for an answer. You have this internal notion that there is no no. I knock on the door and the door is closed, I go through the window. I go to the window, the window is closed, I go through the chimney. I'm going to be inside this building. Now, unless you have those two things, you are not in a notion of being an entrepreneur that it, it really there is a fire inside him. And I was an entrepreneur. I established a company in 2004, and I tell you something, it's an illness. It's an illness, because you cannot avoid it. You wake up in the morning and you say, I have to do it. No, I have to do it. I, I, whatever it costs, I'm going to do it. So everybody is innovative by its nature. Every child is innovative when he's born. There's no DNA for innovation. We are all innovative when we're kids. It's just, how do we, how do we funnel this qualities that we have to the right place. Let's talk about risk, right? Who likes risk? If there's a student in this room that doesn't like risk, then just give up now and go work at McDonald's, right? Risk's good. Risk's, risk lets you get stuff done, provided you bound that risk, right? Don't be crazy on risk. If you want a base jump, that's your problem, yeah? But, I mean, risk is good. So, in looking at medicines, in looking at uh, delivering against some of the health challenges we've got, what we've seen is a whole bunch of institutions around the world going, we've got to share risk. We've got to you know, work together to enable delivery of new medicines, to enable us to meet unmet health needs. We've got to do stuff bravely, boldly, put money in at scale. So I set up nine years ago, and I can't believe it was such a long time. I went to a stakeholder meeting and a, gave a keynote a couple of weeks ago. And nine years ago, I set up some, something called the Innovative Medicines Initiative in the European Union. And they have spent 5.2 billion euros in the last nine years in a public-private partnership trying to de-risk novel drugs, right? So basically, the, the deal is the public purse chucks in a whole bunch of money and the pharma industry and a few others come along and say, well, we'll, you know, we'll put some money in and we'll give... Uh, support from our scientists, from our investigators, in kind, and we're going to create fantastic new drugs. Well, you know, nine years is a long time, and there's a few leads coming out of it, but there aren't that many. Why? Why is it not working as well as it ought to be working? Because what we've ended up with is hidebound bureaucracy. And high-bound bureaucracy, which is incredibly difficult to get through. And it's a hell of a lot of money spent on actually just, you know, making the system work rather than doing the science and, and uh, delivering things. Is it actually delivering? Is it allowing the risk-taking behavior, not just the risk-taking science, that innovation needs? Short answer is not yet. Venture capitals, at the beginning, used to very much encourage risk. They were looking for the things that are really really, you know, changing the world, doing something completely new. They completely lost their way. I don't believe in venture capital, generally speaking, I'm sorry for saying that, but every venture capital, you come to them with something which is completely innovative, they look around and say, has there been an exit in this already? Who else is investing in this? And one of the things is that when you come to venture capital, the first thing they want to say, what's the business model? If there's no business model, how can we invest in that, considering this issue of the risk? Well, what was the business model of YouTube? What was the business model of Waze? You know Waze, the Israeli company? There isn't any. It's all for free. 
And I can go on and go on with Facebook and Google and many, many others. You know, if we really, really, really want to change the game, we've got to experiment, we've got to take risks, we've got to allow ourselves to fail. It's all right to fail. That's what innovators do all the time. Entrepreneurs fail. The big message out of how to become an entrepreneur is keep trying, try, fail, try, fail, try, fail. Oh, succeed. That's what it is. Be risky. Experiment. 